All right, joining me once again here on The Matthew Filipovich Show is my good buddy, Steve Horn. Steve is an investigative journalist. His work has been seen in The Nation, The Guardian, Alternet. He is a research fellow for Des Smog Blog, which you can find at desmogblog.com. You can also follow him on Twitter at Steve A. Horn. Steve, thank you so much for being on the show again. Good to be back. Thanks for having me, Matt. All right, so Steve, you have a report up early last week or late last week over at the Smog blog. Uh, that's another one of these uh, kind of gut punches when it comes to the, o- the Obama White House and climate change. You actually have a report on how the w- Obama White House is arguing against considering climate change consequences when it comes to approving energy projects. Tell us all about it. Sure. Well, um, this was a case that's dragged on for over six years. Uh, it was originally... Uh, challenged, or it was a petition brought by a bunch of environmental groups, including Sierra Club, Nat, uh, the National Resources Defense Council, and other groups, to get the Bush administration to consider climate change their Council on Environmental Quality, which is this unit of the White House that's it's kind of super secretive. Um, if you go on their website, you don't even actually, there's no list of uh, most of the people who work for it, except for the the head of it, and although there are other staffers and such, and so they were trying to get this is a this uh, CEQ as it's called coordinates uh, basically the White House and other agencies that do stuff on climate change and energy. They coordinate these agencies in a way that uh, it's supposed to centralize it, and so it's important for CEQ to be you know, sort of pushed. For, for the, these environmental groups, at least, to push them in a direction that climate change would be part of their environmental reviews as part of something called the National Environmental Protection Act, or NEPA. And so there's lots of criteria for NEPA, uh, including environmental impacts, not necessarily climate change impacts, uh, air, water, that type of thing. Climate still isn't necessarily part of NEPA reviews yet. And NEPA means you do an environmental assessment or an environmental impact statement, and there's public hearings and that type of stuff. And so what they wanted to do, these environmental groups, was push CEQ to push the other agencies to consider climate change as part of these NEPA reviews. And uh, this was brought in February 2008, and it's really dragged on literally until this summer, and it might drag on past then, so it's six and a half years later. What happened is in 2010, at that time, President Obama was president, the, uh, the, the, the administration finally responded, and they, they basically drafted something up and said, here's how we'll use climate change. So it seemed pretty promising. Uh, I think these groups that brought the legal complaint forward were hopeful that it would be published in the, in the form of a final draft. But what has happened is that it was never published as a final draft. So you can go on the internet, you can go to the White House website and look at that draft of how the CEQ is going to deal with climate change as part of a NEPA review. But you can't, there is no such thing as a final draft. And so they've sat on it for an extra four years after that. And what happened is these groups brought another legal challenge on the, basically on the White House dragging their feet. And the White House finally responded uh, and said, finally in August, after that legal challenge was brought forward and said, well, hey, the lawsuit is now moot because we've responded, so you should you should drop your lawsuit. And here's our... So, the, so, the, so, the, so they're saying their response was this draft, which was never finalized. We've responded in this draft that's not actually policy yet, so just shut up and enjoy the draft that hasn't <laughs> been sent out to everybody else that actually isn't like been implemented, that this draft should be enough? They said That was their response? That, that was part of their response. They said that we, <laughs> we have done something. We, we do have a draft out there never indicating if it's ever going to be published as a final draft. <laughs> but they also said, and hey, we're also doing other stuff on climate change, including our climate action plan and, and several other things. So it's, it's like an eight to 10 page letter that they drafted in early August. Uh, and, and it didn't really, you know, this wasn't like a lawsuit that got the most attention in the media or anything. I think Politico put something out in Morning Energy that, that the case existed, but they didn't really explain why it was important or anything. And so uh, this letter was written and they said, because this we wrote this letter, you should yeah, the the judge should drop the lawsuit on the procedural stuff. So so the environmental groups agreed to drop that lawsuit on the procedural stuff. But 
they still left open the possibility that they could re-sue CEQ for not actually doing anything in terms of climate change with NEPA. And so it's still up in the air. And I think, mm-hmm. you know, what my article said is, at least for now, the White House is the Obama White House is arguing against centralizing the consideration of climate change on energy infrastructure projects. And so what happens is that some agencies will talk about climate change in the reviews, uh, including even the State Department for Keystone XL that was part of their environmental impact statement. Climate change is discussed, but sometimes it's not, it, often it's not discussed at all. So if you look at the Bureau of Land Management and how they're dealing with coal, they're just leasing out so much coal, uh, you know, th- hundreds of thousands of acres, and that stuff gets exported to the global market. And, it's, and climate change is never part of the discussion. So there was a big lawsuit that was brought against a coal mine in Colorado and the judge said hey look you need uh, these these environmental groups sued including Sierra Club again and other groups and and they sued and said that climate change wasn't even on the table what's up with that and and the judge actually agreed and so we're seeing like a you know a, basically a differentiation that the CEQ wants these this coal leasing to continue to happen and exports to continue to happen because they've been a key facilitator of it at the same time some other agencies like the EPA and uh, uh, others, like the State Department sometimes, not always, they'll consider climate change. So that's why this lawsuit was important, was to centralize climate change as you know a central prong of the Obama administration to at least consider it. And we're not talking about stopping projects, we're talking about climate change being on the table in a discussion about energy projects. And so I think that's why this lawsuit was important, especially given the timing of when it was decided just over a month before this big United Nations climate summit in New York City.